Welcome Hot Wheels Racing fan to the Racing Olympics. Event one, 32 cars all up against each other, narrowing it down to decide the champion of this group, the fastest racer. New Olympic caliber racers here today. And we're gonna get it started. Look at this, Guatemala versus Japan. Out of the gate, Guatemala pulling ahead here into the first straight after that slight uphill battle that they faced for that first hill. Guatemala now way out in front, Japan falling back quite a bit around the final curve. That outside line not hampering Guatemala any bit. And he'll cross the finish line way in front, flip over a little bit almost in celebration. Japan will more carefully cross the line, and unfortunately will not advance. Nice and slow, nice and safe, but not good enough. Canada versus the Netherlands. Down that first straight and up the first hill. It is the Netherlands in front, that darker blue truck. They head around the first curve. The elevated track, Canada falling behind. Needs a speed boost in the end here. How is he gonna do around the outside line? Is he gonna catch up? He puts a burst of speed on at the end, and it is enough. Wow, look at that, just in time. And Canada's going to take that victory. Burst of speed came just at the right time. Saving his energy for the end and it worked out. Look at that. Just took the victory by a like half an inch. Malaysia and Australia. Head down the track here. Malaysia actually that red car. And Australia the green one. Australia pulls ahead here. As we head toward that second curve. More of an elevated track this time. Different from the king of the track track, which is more low to the ground. Australia will cross way ahead. Look at this, Malaysia. Not even making it to the finish line, coming to an almost a complete, well, a definite complete stop. No victory there for him. Unfortunate. But what about Russia and Turkey? Head down here. Russia out in front. Now Turkey through that first curve, that red truck. Russia trying to make some moves back. He's going to take back the lead through that second straight around the inside line. Russia out in front. And he'll cross in front just by a little bit. Turkey goes upended there. But with no luck. Puerto Rico and Thailand. Thailand, that smaller red car. Puerto Rico on the left, that bright white car. And on the first curve, Thailand out in front. A little bit of spacing between them. Puerto Rico needs to make up the ground now. Inside the line, now gaining some ground, but it's not enough as Thailand stays ahead. Good speed at the end. Puerto Rico put on a burst of speed there, definitely, through this final curve, but Thailand also gain speed from that curve, exactly what he needed to stay in front, and it worked out. Let's take a look at Uruguay and Argentina. Uruguay in the right lane, the blue car. Argentina, that truck, that black and red truck, in the left lane as they go to the first curve, slowing down a little bit. It looks like Uruguay, but Argentina is gonna make a challenge and take over. Now three, four, now five. What about Italy versus Indonesia? Italy falling behind out of the first hill. Indonesia in front. How will the speed change look to this first curve? The second straight. Looking in Indonesia's favor. Italy falling back even more. This inside line to Italy's favor, but not going to give them the speed necessary. And Indonesia's across. That is definitely a good look for Indonesia. We will see again in the next round. An interesting finish. China, Chile. 
getting started here on the track. China making some moves out in front already. Look at the lead extension here around that first curve, and we're going to see China take a huge lead. I think the victory is unquestionable here. As China crosses way out in front, absolutely no contest. Take a look at this replay. See China just way out in front here. What about USA versus France? Here we go. Up into that first hill, and it is USA by a hair, but France is going to take it back over. How will the second hill and curve look? The straight almost caught USA off guard, who's now falling behind. France with that sleek model. It's going to stay way out in front and cross way in front here. advance the next round as well. What about the Philippines and Peru? On the hill here, Philippines out in front. So you go to that first curve and he's way out in front. Look at the lagging behind of Peru here. Just Huge lead right now. Don't even see Peru on the screen anymore. Is he going to finish? He will finish, but not very fast. And you're not going to see Peru in the next round, for sure. Let's take a look at Spain and Singapore. Spain heading down the hill out in front through the first straight. Singapore, a larger bodied truck there on the left. Can he convert that weight into speed? It looks like he's got a little bit of speed coming, coming up back on Spain here. But is it enough? Spain staying ahead by a car length through the final straights is going to grab the lead, hold the lead, take the victory. Definitely a close race, but Spain edged him out, had a good starting position, and held it for the whole race. Switzerland and the UK. UK, out in front by a hair here through the first straight. Switzerland pulling ahead. Now we go to the first downturn. Switzerland now pulling ahead even more. Two car lengths, three car lengths. Out of this final drop, as well as the curved look. And the UK is not going to make up the ground. And Switzerland will be seen in the next round. Ecuador, Colombia. They head down the hill here. Ecuador moving out in front here. And red, that bright red. Colombia falling back, but has a chance to gain the lead to the inside line here, gaining some ground. Will the burst of speed come in time? It will not. And Ecuador will move on. South Africa, Nicaragua. So Nicaragua trying to get out in front at first, but South Africa takes the lead on the first straight. Down the first drop here to the curve. And you can see South Africa hold that lead. Any burst of speed from Nicaragua? Not looking like it. The lead extends for South Africa. And he's going to cross in front. Not the results Nicaragua was looking for. But against a car as fast as South Africa, there's not much you can do. Korea, Brazil. He outs the lead. Results and work to do definitely here. On that first curve, and the lead is just extending here for Korea. And that last curve look. Not good. Korea is going to easily take that. That finish.
Mexico and India. Set of cards here in Mexico out to the lead. In the first drop, will India make up some ground here on the hill? They're both slowing down to a crawl. India wasting a lot of time at the top of that hill. And the lead is so big now, it would be very difficult for Mexico to lose it at this point. Slowing down to a crawl, trying to get across the line and just does. And India won't even make it. Definitely going to see Mexico in the next race, but with that slow finish, I'm not sure if Mexico's going to be able to pull out another victory in the next round. We'll have to wait and see. There we go, we got our 16 cars that are left. We head to the next round of the Olympics here, the Racing Olympics. We got our first two, Argentina, Thailand. out into the lead through the first drop around this first curve how are we going to see Thailand continue that lead yes we are Argentina no luck from him trying to gain speed at the end but Thailand just has it out in front here the answer is clear Thailand's going to advance two those semi-final rounds There's quarterfinal rounds, actually. Australia, USA. USA pulling ahead here. Australia with a little bit of gap behind. Not going to look good. The gap continues to increase, and USA looks like he's going to cross way out in front, and yes, he will. say we'll move on. Spain and Mexico. Spain out in front here. Mexico trying to make some moves there, but slowing down towards the top of the hill is going to cost them a lot of time. Spain is way out in front at this point. Not looking good for Mexico. And I think it's going to stay that way. Spain will advance to the next round as well. Certainly not a close race. This is how we weed out those slower cars. As we said before, Mexico's finish is very slow in the previous race. Probably was not going to have a good race in the next round. Let's take a look at Peru and Colombia. Peru falling behind here in the first straight. Colombia a little bit out in front with the lead. Extends. Peru now around the final curve. Colombia way out in front. Will grab the victory as Peru tumbles over across the line for the win. Russia and Guatemala. Russia making some moves there through the first straight. Out in front, Guatemala has some work to do through this curve. He's going to make up the lead. Guatemala with a burst of speed is going to try to take it back from Russia on the second straight. Russia through the curve is losing ground. Is he going to gain speed at the end here? Closing the gap, and he does. Taking first place at the last second. Close race between these two cars. We would love to see both of them in the next round, but only Russia will move on. And will be seen in the next round. South Africa, Indonesia. We saw South Africa with a bunch of speed. In his previous race, how he do here? Looks like he's going to be out in front again onto that first straight against Indonesia. Will Indonesia mount a better challenge? We will see Indonesia trying to close the gap. But it's not going to work. South Africa staying true, staying speedy. He's going to end up with the lead. And will advance the next round as well. What about Korea, Canada? On the track they go, Korea pulling ahead through the first straight. Canada falling behind and even slowing down. Not the look he needs here. Korea 
little shaky through that first curve, but Canada is not mounting a challenge. Will this final curve look any different? No, Korea is going to keep that speed going. Great momentum. And he will advance. Switzerland, Chile. Let's take a look here, Switzerland. Trying to pull out in front through the first straight, and he will by a little bit. This drop in through the first curve, and he's going to be out in front. But Chile roaring back through that curve. A lot of speed gained from that outside line. And Switzerland may lose out on it here. It looks like with the speed, Chile was able to accumulate through that first curve. There will be no challenge from Switzerland. Eight cars left to go here. Pick your favorite. Who is the fastest here? Who will take the victory in the first event of the Racing Olympics? Thailand and Spain. They will be the ones to face off first in this round. Thailand again pulling out in front. Thailand has great races so far. But Spain rolling back through the second straight. How will Thailand deal with that around the outside line? Is he going to gain any speed through that? No. And Spain, with an upset here, ends Thailand's journey. And you will not see Thailand in those semifinal rounds. This is the quarterfinals, by the way. Russia and USA. We'll battle it out here. USA pulling out in front. It looks for them. Is it going to stay good? For the USA to the second curve. It will. Screws for that second curve. And the speed is going to be maintained. Look at that gap between them. There was no chance for Russia. Third race here, Chile, Korea. Let's see how they race here. Korea out in front through the first curve. Chile roaring back, look at that. It's not gonna turn in the way of Korea for the rest of this race. Chile will advance on as well to the semifinal rounds. One more race to decide one more car's fate in the semifinals. Who will get to the semifinals, South Africa or Colombia? Both with incredible performances so far. Which one will win the face-off? Again, South Africa pulling ahead on that first trait as he's done so far in every race. But will Colombia mount a challenge? He's at least holding ground. He's now he's starting to increase his, his gain here but not enough. I was sure Colombia was gonna be able to overtake, but South Africa put on that burst of speed to that last line and held on, and will be pushed into the semifinal rounds. To decide who is the fastest in this first event of the Racing Olympics. Chile, USA, the face off here first in the semifinals. USA pulling ahead again across the top here, but Chile looks like he's right there behind him. This first curve leaves both of them with a lot of speed, but USA's pulling ahead again. Around the final curve, Chile trying to put a burst of speed on, gaining ground here across the line, but USA holds on by a car length. And you will see USA in the final race, battling for that championship. But against whom? South Africa or Spain? Which car will you see in the finals against USA? Spain out in front on the first straight here. But will South Africa mount a challenge? He needs to right now. It's necessary. He's falling behind. How is he going to catch up to this final curve? Spain very fast here, and it won't happen. And you will see South Africa not in the finals. Take a look at the finals here. We got USA. We got Spain. 
which car will take the victory? On track, USA trying to pull ahead. Spain with some difficulty now taking the lead around the first curve. Who are we going to see here? We're going to see Spain out in front grabbing a huge lead. USA, is there going to be any challenge mounted from the back on the last curve? It does not look like it'd be anywhere close. And Spain will take this victory. Take a look at this replay. USA very quick through the final curve, but not quick enough. Spain has been past the whole race and great at coming back. And we will head to that second race to decide things. USA needs the win here to push it to a final race, but it looks like he's falling behind again. Spain, a very fast car out there. Gonna make it hard for USA to take the victory, and I don't think he will. Spain across the line is your race Olympics, racing Olympics event one champion. Just too little too fast for USA. Gold to Spain, silver to USA, and bronze to South Africa. And take a look at the final ceremonies here. Atop the podium they stand. Spain fans are very proud. Each of them pick up one medallion. Gold being 15 points, silver 10, and bronze 5. And that will be it for this video. We will see you next time for event two of the Racing Olympics. Thank you.